Dr. Song Yangzhang is a postdoc, uh, postdoc researcher supervised by uh, Da Hualing. He received his PhD from the University of Chinese Academ uh, Academy of Science. He leads the development of preterm directions of open MM lab, including uh, MM preterm. His research interests include model structure, small sample learning, and visual relationship understanding. Uh, okay, thank you for the introduction. And uh, I would like to introduce MM preterm. And I'm Suyang Zhang from the Shanghai AI lab. Uh, today, uh, my talk uh, is from the vision foundation models to the mathematical learning. And uh, first of all, you're welcome to uh, stem our code base to support us. And uh, the right bottom is our uh, Twitter account and WeChat account. Um, today, I would like to uh, follow this outline to uh, introduce the uh, pro recent progress of the foundation models. And uh, I will, then I will introduce what's the uh, MM Pre-Train and how to play foundation models with MM Pre-Train. And finally, I would like to quickly uh, update our uh, recent uh, uh, plan for the next step. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, give a quick review of the foundation models. Um, so first question is, what's the foundation models? Mm, from uh, Wikipedia, a foundation model, also called the base model, is a large machine learning uh, models. Um, also, it's trained on a vast quantity of data the skill. Uh, so maybe the open data lab is very helpful for you to train such a big model. And also the large uh, model often trained by the self-supervised learning or semi-supervised learning, such that it can be adapted to a wide range of downstream tasks. And recently we all know the uh, very popular uh, large language model like the ChatGPT, uh, which is based on the GPT 3.5. And its uh, previous works uh, like the GPT-3 and uh, Google's uh, light language models like BERT. And for the uh, uh, gener gener generation uh, tasks like the DALI and the stable diffusion, uh, also the well-known uh, big, big model or the foundation model. And for the multimodality learning, especially for the test image uh, understanding, the CLIP is a very popular uh, foundation models and uh, adopted by the many recent uh, uh, multi-modality uh, algorithms. And also the meta recent works, uh, uh, SIME, segment anything models. Um, it's uh, also a foundation model which focuses on the semantic segmentation. Uh, next, I will quickly review the uh, recent progress in the large vision foundation models. And the first is the EVA, which is a, a, a visual, visual centric foundation model to explore the limits of the visual representation at a scale. It has uh, uh, 1 billion parameters and it's a uh, Valina uh, VIT pre trained to reconstruct the image test aligned features. Uh, actually, it's a uh, distilled little knowledge from the clip. And then um, we can uh, use this uh, foundation model for various downstream tasks. And uh, it also has become a very a very famous backbone for visual centric or multi model uh, multi modality models. And and another is uh, the, the the segment anything. Uh, it's use a uh, very various or uh, varieties of input uh, prompts, and uh, it has uh, the awesome zero short generalization ability. Uh, the same is learned with. Uh, 11 million images with 1 billion masks. And it, and it can be used for the uh, generation tasks uh, compatible, compatible with uh, the stable diffusion or control net or other uh, generation models. Uh, and for the self-supervised learning, uh, Dino V2 is uh, recently uh, introduced uh, large vision foundation models and it's learned the robust visual features without supervision. Uh, and in this work, they focus on the data um, and it's a demonstration of the, the data-centric AI idea. And uh, then you, they use the supervised main method to train uh, uh, the DNOV2 on the enough curated data from the diverse source. And also, this work proposes an automatic pipeline to build a dedicated, diverse, and curated image data sites. Also, uh, this model is a VIT style and has uh, 1 billion parameters, and 
uh, in this year, actually, the computer vision has uh, in, come into the billion parameters uh, area. Uh, and uh, moreover, the Google recently has also uh, published a new VIT models with uh, 22 billion. Um, also, uh, for the uh, vision foundation, vision foundation models, uh, there are uh, some new trends. Uh, uh, for the efficient uh, network, network, the reparameterization techniques has been adopted in the recent works from the wrap VGZ to the recent uh, works, uh, such as the uh, I former. It's also come from our team. And uh, for the uh, big models, the large vision foundation models, the reversible network uh, is a interesting interested idea and uh, adopted by the uh, recent uh, foundation models uh, rev caller network uh, also we can call it a uh, rev call um, next i would like to quick review the recent progress in the multimodality learning so for the multimodality uh, actually it's focused on the fusion of two or more more modality information such as the language uh, images videos and the audios also the different modalities data can be downloaded from the open data lab. And for the multimodality tasks, uh, actually we, we, we are very familiar with those tasks such as uh, visual, question, visual question answering and the image text retrieval, all the uh, very uh, advanced, uh, very interested idea. Uh, it's a uh, required model to, uh, can, uh, it's required models uh, to be able to re reason. Um, natural language for the visual reasoning for real is a, a challenge task, and typically it's a, a it's a requires a, a user to uh, input two to input two images and given one descriptions and uh, the model will give a true or false prediction. Um, other multimodality tasks like the you know, visual entertainment, uh, it's also a a a demo for uh, verify the model's reasoning ability, and uh, for the uh, and another task is a very uh, common task: uh, image caption. Uh, also for the uh, Im image fine grained uh, perception task, uh, visual grounding. Um, recently, we are very familiar with the the, the chats, the MM chats, the model chats uh, uh, application. And uh, we can use the uh, chat model to uh, uh, chat with the uh, bot, uh, and uh, we can uh, given the text or the image text input. Um, some other uh, multimodality models uh, are still uh, is ongoing, uh, such as the visual uh, video in text retrieval, video caption, video question answering, and the video dialogue. Uh, here and. Uh, Due to the limited time, I have uh, I have to uh, give a overview of uh, the multimodality recent progress, and have no time to go through uh, each of them. Uh, typically, I would like to uh, cast those works into three categories. First is the classical multimodality models. Uh, they basically uh, comes from the uh, the progress of the BERT idea, and they typically own two uh, branch. One is the image branch, another is the text branch, uh, such as the uh, uh, classical works, a clip, and uh, some other uh, following works like the Alan or the Coca, and uh, uh, follow the progress of the BERT. Some ideas like the VILT, the Alan Before Fields, and uh, the uh, Belief. Uh, also follow this idea, and uh, for the uh, for the uh, tokenization idea, the Microsoft uh, had uh, had has had pro um, proposed the BIT series. They uh, take the image as a a sequence of the image token and build the BIT BIT V two and BIT V three. A BIT BIT V three is a a powerful multimodality uh, models which take the image and the test uh, into the uh, model and uh, consider them as a sequence. And another is uh, language, uh, large language models based multimodality models. Uh, these works uh, follow the progress of the uh, 
big language model such as the GPT or the Palm. Um, and those works typically come from the Google DeepMind or the OpenAI. And these works uh, further instead the sequence idea and uh, take the image uh, as input and uh, use a uh, uh, tokenization, uh, discrete tokenization technique to uh, build a sequence of image tokens and uh, uh, append the text tokens to uh, learn uh, multi-modality models. And recently, uh, when the ChatGPT API is available to public, uh, many uh, researchers have tried to use the ChatGPT APIs as a controller and use different uh, modality models as experts and then we can build a powerful multi-modality system by using the API to uh, call for different uh, uh, expert models, such as the Visual Chat GPT, MM React, and other works. Um, also, uh, in the past uh, one or two um, months, uh, when the Llama models, which is a very known uh, large language models, is uh, available, uh, many researchers have focused on the parameter efficient uh, uh, tuning of the multimodality models. They uh, build uh, the advanced uh, multimodality models based on the uh, clip backbone and the, the Lama language model, the, such as the I mean GPT-4 and Lava. And uh, our teams work the multimodality GPT. Uh, they uh, also they all uh, follow the uh, if parameter efficient learning idea to build a uh, interested and powerful multimodality system. And next, I would like to quickly uh, give an introduction of the MM Pre-Train. So what's MM Pre-Train? Uh, actually, MM Pre-Train is a part of the uh, OpenMM Lab, and it's an open source Pre-Train toolbox based on the PyTorch. And it consists of the various algorithms related to the uh, multimodality learning, to the vision foundation models, and to the self-supervised learning. Um, um, also, the MM Pre-Train is oriented from the MM classification and MM self -soup. Uh Our framework uh, has a powerful training support. You can easily to learn uh, vision backbones by using self-supervised learning or supervised learning. And also, we uh, support uh, various sort of algorithm from the uh, image classification to the multi-modality uh, learning. And uh, the MM pre-train inherits the clear and modular design of the um, OpenMLM system. And we also provide the perfect analysis tool to help the researcher uh, focus on the details of the models. And uh, also, uh, MM pre-train is a unified framework compatible with the uh, OpenMLM, and we can use M Open MM pre-train to provide powerful backbones for the downstream tasks. And also the user-friendly documentation is helpful for our users to quickly find the useful knowledge about our code base. So uh, first, uh, I would like to highlight the recent upgraded new, uh, new features and uh, multimodality algorithm. Uh, the MMM train now is capable to handle the multimodality uh, tasks and the way uh, leverage the powerful backbones in our code base and uh, uh, adopt the language models from the open source of the, uh, uh, especially for the models come from the uh, Hagen face, which is a powerful uh, transformer code base, uh, which provide uh, many useful language models. And uh, MM Pre-Train leverages a uh, own backbones and the open source backbones, we can build a very advanced multi-modality uh, application. Um, currently, we support the cutting edge multi-modality algorithm uh, from the CASC uh, multi-modality algorithm and the recent IOM-based uh, multi-modality algorithm, like the Bleep V2, the Lava, and the uh, Inside Bleep and other works. Uh, next, I would like to highlight the uh, important features of MM Pre-Train with support supervised learning, especially for the image classification. You can uh, learn uh, classification models uh, for the uh, for, for the different uh, domains, uh, images, and we provide powerful backbones like the uh, CN networks or the transformer networks. 
currently we support uh, uh, more than uh, 50, uh, 50 plus algorithms uh, for the backbones with more than 400 checkpoints. Um, the third important uh, feature is self supervised learning. That I'm pretty sure actually uh, provides the very uh, advanced uh, self supervised learning algorithm. And you can use the uh, MM Pre-Train to learn a uh, backbone with uh, self supervised learning techniques. Uh, actually, self supervised learning uh, requires to develop uh, pre text tasks, and the supervision can be generated automatically. And uh, self-supervised learning can leverage the millions of unlabeled images. Uh, from the past uh, few years, the, the uh, self-supervised learning um, from the early works like the handcraft pretext task to the contrastive learning. And recently, the mass image modeling has become a new trend in self-supervised learning. Uh, all those um, algorithms, the milestone algorithm, uh, are supported in the MM pre-train, uh, from the early works to the contrastive learning works of the recent mass image modeling works. Um, next, I will uh, highlight the usage of the MM pre-train. Um, here, we can uh, learn how to play the foundation models with MM pre-train. Um, First of all, I would like to give a over, framework overview of my pre-train. Actually, uh, our framework has a modular design. We, uh, we can consider the MM pre-train consists of three main components. The first is the start uh, scripts. You can use uh, tools to learn a model or conduct inference uh, of the given models. And the configure folder will provide the various algorithms configure. And you can also contribute your own algorithm into our projects. And uh, we also provide many helpers to uh, help the user to find the useful information in the documentations. And uh, we provide some demo for a user to build some applications. And also the tests and requirements are required to build a, a well-designed open source framework. For the main library, the MM Pre-Train folder, uh, we provide some uh, advanced uh, uh, interface such as APIs folder and the evaluation folder and the uh, registry folder. You can uh, use those uh, uh, interface to uh, build the application and conduct the evaluation and register your own uh, implemented uh, function or models. And the, the all advanced uh, all the SOTA algorithms are implemented in the folders, uh, in the models folder. And we also provide the data and the structure of folders to uh, provide the implementation of reading data and conduct data transformation. Uh, for the utils and the visualization, you can use the, our provided tools to conduct the visualization or other uh, analysis. Uh, and the engine is designed to uh, learn or uh, uh, test a model, and also it's uh, implement uh, various of uh, uh, hooks which can be used for uh, monitor the training process or uh, collect the information of the training process. And uh, also, uh, the MM Pre Train um, has a powerful downstream test support. Uh, we can um, Adopt uh, the MM trains backbone in uh, different downstream task repo like the MM segmentation, MM detection, and MM vision two. Here, I'd like to give a quick review of how to uh, use the uh, MM train from scratch. Uh, first of all, you can easily to install uh, install the MM train by using our pro provide a uh, package manager uh, open MIM, and it will install all requirements easily. And uh, then you can use uh, MM Pre-Train the interface to list uh, on all models we provided. And uh, you can also uh, specify the, the, the patterns of the, uh, of the model's name. Also, we uh, provide the easy to use API to help the user conduct the inference uh, for different tasks. Uh, here, I would like to give a, a 
illustration of how to use MM Pre-Trains API. First, you can uh, import the model and list the models. Then you can inference to uh, classify an image. And for the image caption tasks, you can list all the image caption models like the Belip and the Flamingo. And then you can uh, inference an image with a detailed uh, caption. Also, you can use MM Pre-Trains for visual grounding. And uh, we also we also suppose the visual question answering. You can uh, use this uh, uh, interface to build the chat, uh, multi-modality chat application. And also, we suppose the test and image retrieval is is very useful for the real application. Here, uh, it will prepare the prototypes, and you can easily find the retrieved uh, image for the given test. Oh, okay, that's all. It's a uh, illustration of our interface. Um, so if you want to use uh, the MM Pre-Train to learn a model from uh, scratch, you can follow this uh, uh, typical uh, pipeline, uh, this common pipeline. Actually, first you, you will start from the toolstream.py and it will pass in the arguments and loading the given configuration fair and then we will build a runner. Uh, and then we will start the runner to conduct the, the training process. It will build the optimizer, build the training loop, and uh, we will call the train step for the forward and backward process. Uh, here, I'd like to give an example of how to use MM pre-train to learn a, a swing transformer. Here, you can uh, directly use the tool string.py to uh, learn a swing transformer quickly. And also we provide the cross library configuration call, which means you can uh, verify the effects of the backbone, uh, such as the swing transformer in the detection tasks. Here, you um, only need to specify the uh, downstream task, the repo's uh, name, and uh, specify the detection models you want to try like the fast RCN and then we will uh, we will uh, automatically download the checkpoint for the uh, our provided uh, swing transformer um, or you can also use the checkpoint you train from scratch and then we will uh, quickly to launch a detection training uh, experiments within the MM pre-train and uh, it's benefit from the unified framework design of the MM lab and uh, we also provide the analysis tools in the MM pre-trained. Uh, first, I would like to give a visualization tools uh, implemented in the MM pre-trained. Here you can monitor the data augmentation process, uh, like the, the color jitter or the flip. And also you can uh, plot the learning rate curve or the autom autom uh, optimizer momentum curve, uh, even without uh, uh, launch uh, training experiments, you, you can plot those figures before you start the training. Uh, we also provide the visualization tool for the classification, uh, class activation map. Uh, we suppose the different uh, CAM algorithms. And also for the self-supervised learning, we provide the, the, the reconstruction visualization tools to help the user to reconstruct uh, uh, the image from the output. Uh, also, for the backbone uh, analysis, back from, for the backbone research, we provide the ship bears visualization tools and the TSNE visualization tools to help the user uh, to uh, investigate the training process of the uh, model's features. Uh, also, we provide the model complexity analysis by using the uh, uh, flops calculation API, you can easily get the flops of the 
uh, models and the parameter and the, get the parameters of the models. Uh, so you can print the uh, details, the flops, and the parameters uh, uh, layer by layer. Um, and uh, for uh, in in the last section of this, uh, in the last last part of the section, I would like to uh, highlight how to use uh, the MM pretrain for the product application uh, based on the MM deploy, which is uh, designed for uh, help the de development of the deep learning models. First, we can clone a de MM deploy, and then we will uh, install the MM deploy and Onyx by using our provided tools. And then you can conduct the model convention by convert the uh, PyTorch models, such as the ResNet, into uh, Onyx models. And then you can use the MM deploy uh, API to uh, verify the Onyx models. Um, we also provide a comprehensive documentation for a user to get started and learn how to prepare data, how to train and test with our provided algorithm. And also we pray, uh, we also uh, given uh, how to use uh, MM pretrain for the downstream tasks. Uh, for the advanced guides, we provide some um, hints for how to add new data sites, how to custom data data pipeline. Um, also, we will give a quick summary of the um, model supported in our uh, code base. Um, Let's give a short summary of uh, this section. Uh, actually, MM pretrain is a part of the Open MM two plan, and uh, we uh, support uh, powerful multi modality learning algorithms, and uh, we uh, implement many different advanced reading backbones. We also support the self supervised learning from the contrastive learning to the uh, mass language modeling uh, algorithms. And also, uh, you can use MM pretrain for the product friendly application. We can uh, leverage the MM deploy to quickly convert the models in the MM pretrain into different backends. And also, we provide the perfect analysis tool to help the user uh, to conduct the research experiments and uh, analysis the process of uh, the training or the test. And uh, we provide different uh, uh, models from the common network to the transformer models. Uh, currently, we have uh, more than 80 algorithms and uh, 500 checkpoints, uh, including the, the different uh, uh, tasks. And the MM pretrain is extensible and configurable. Um, we are capable to the downstream tasks for the various different uh, various uh, open MLM repos. And uh, finally, I would like to quickly give an overview of our future plan. For the future, I, uh, we will uh, continue to support the cutting edge vision backbones, and uh, we plan to support more advanced multi-modality algorithm, as this is a hot topic in the research community. And we also will um, make more efforts on the training techniques, uh, such as to support the parameter efficient the fine tuning algorithm for the uh, vision backbones and the multimodality uh, algorithm. And we will uh, speed up our data set loading and data, data set uh, uh, transformation pipeline. And also, uh, uh, we actually, we have already implemented some uh, experimental AP uh, functions, such as uh, the uh, quick training with deep speed or the close AI. And uh, um, certainly, we will uh, publish some. Uh, complete uh, benchmark for the vision backbones and the multimodality algorithms to help the community to, to investigate which backbones or which algorithms is uh, suitable for the application for all for the research. And uh, uh, that's all. It's uh, all materials about this topic from the computer vision to the multimodality learning. And welcome to our uh, product homepage and follow our account. Uh, thanks for the listening.